Hello class, this is Mr. Corsi. Today we're talking about Adobe Bridge and I'm going to show you how to batch rename a bunch of image files. Let's get started. First thing you're going to do, open up Adobe Bridge, go on my pictures file, and I have some pictures of Italy. Now I'm in the Essentials View panel and if I want to rename all these Italy, I want to select them all and go Tools, Batch Rename. Have a default preset, or you can create your own with a name, date. You can add extra file name items, and then you can save it and then every time you batch rename you can refer to it'll show up under presets so it comes in handy uh, you can also choose uh, rename in the same folder or move or copy to another folder if you want to leave the originals alone let's call this Italy date created year month date underscore and then number and you can check preserve the current file name and the metadata. After that, all you have to do is click rename and you see it writing down there. It might take a, a little while renaming all those files. Okay, so here they are. They're named exactly as we meant to do it. Now, I believe so it put the year the photos were made, month and day. Now I think when my in-laws took these pictures they didn't update the time in their camera so that's why it says January 1st of 2005. Uh, these pictures are only a couple years old. So uh, be, always be sure you keep the date correct on your cameras. The next thing I want to talk to you about is updating metadata. you can append metadata with creating a metadata template and you can always put put in your name just gonna put a, some information here you can put in keywords Italy vacation put your address copyright information etc etc Italy template and then click Save all right, so I created a metadata template. With those selected, I'm going to append the metadata that's already there. You can append or replace. And I'm just going to append. I guess that means add information to instead of totally replacing. So Italy template. It's uh, writing metadata. Give it a second. While we're waiting on that, let's talk about why I put metadata. Your pictures especially digital pictures can be shared over the internet sometimes if somebody who you don't want to end up with it um, uses it for their marketing and stuff it can, the metadata can have it traced back to you so comes in handy as far as uh, copyright uh, in addition when you upload to Facebook or social media sometimes uh, it saves time typing in photo description if you uh, put it in the metadata. Okay, so it looks like it's done. With all those still selected, I'm going to go File, File Info. And there you go. For each one of those, that information was right there. Now you could put in keywords. Um, comes in handy when you upload to a type of photo sh uh, sharing social media. Uh, you and with them all selected you could also modify and add to all of them or you can just select one and modify that one only so some of them may fall in different categories like uh, there were some some of Rome some of Florence you could select the specific ones and modify the metadata 
But that is all I have to say about metadata and batch renaming in Adobe Bridge. Hey class, if you like this video, please click like below and subscribe to this channel. Also, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.